In this equation, we have KMnO4 plus Fe, potassium permanganate plus iron. Let's count the atoms up to balance the equation. We have one potassium, one manganese, four oxygens, and one iron. On the product side, we have the two potassiums, one manganese, oxygens. We have one plus one plus two. That equals four. And then iron, we have just one. So everything's pretty close. Looks like it should be fairly easy. If we put a two in front of the KMnO4, this two applies to everything. So one times two, those are balanced. One times two, and then two times the four oxygens. That gives us eight. So maybe not as easy as we thought at first. Let's double our oxygens and see if that makes things work out. We could put a two in front of the MnO2. One times two, those are balanced. And then the oxygen, let's update those. We have one plus one plus two times two is four. So we get four plus two, six. So that didn't fix it. We have a bit of a problem with our oxygens here. At this point, it's probably easiest to change one of these two compounds here to get to eight oxygens. And I would want to do, I think, the Fe, because if I change the K, this K2O, that means I'll have to change this and everything will get out of whack. If I change the FeO, then to fix the Fe, I just put something in front of, of this here. So let's try that. So something here in front of the Fe, some number of oxygens, plus the one, plus the four, that'll equal eight. So five here plus three would equal eight. We could put a three in front of FeO. Now we have one times three for the Fe, and then the oxygens, we have our eight. So to balance the Fe, we'll put a three in front of here, one times three, there we go. This equation is balanced. It's actually a lot more complicated than I anticipated. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KMnO4 plus Fe. Thanks for watching.